Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Angelie Walker. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag, flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance thank you you may now be seated today is thursday may 5th 2022 now it's time to take a brain break so before you begin your exercise take a moment to check in with both the body and the mind sitting down just take a nice big deep breath breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth a sense of taking on lots of fresh air as you breathe out, just letting go of any distractions and just feeling the mind in the body more present, more aware, more focused, ready to begin. Notice how the body feels, whether there's a sense of energy, lightness, heaviness, discomfort, just becoming more aware how the body feels, allowing the breath to return to its natural rhythm, opening the eyes again and ready to begin. That was just what I needed to start up this great school day. Now for Word of the Day with Valencia and Aiden. Hey Valencia, uh, I didn't mean to eavesdrop earlier, but I heard you need a study partner. It's okay if you listen, then. I was just going to ask you anyways. Okay. I thought you'd be mad if I eavesdropped. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just happy to have a partner. See, See you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word, Word of the, the Day. Day. I love expanding my vocabulary. Let's check in with Destiny for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Anjali. Sports fans, this girl just proved to everyone that even kids can achieve great national accomplishments. 15-year-old Zalia Avant-Garde was just awarded the title of 2021 Sports Kid of the Year. What's even more amazing about this achievement is that she is the first African-American female contestant to win this title. Zalia has a lot of passions including spelling, basketball, and reading, which all made her more qualified for this award. A fun fact about her is that she can ride a unicycle while juggling. Guess you can say she's an all-in-one. Now let's see what's cooking with Sonia. Thank you, Destiny. Today's lunch sure is a crowd pleaser. We have turkey, ham, and cheese sandwich, baby carrots, ranch, mustard, fresh pear, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. But let's go back to Angelie. Thank you, Sonia. I'm looking forward to it. Scholars, FSA testing is continuing throughout the week. Today is 4th through 6th grade ELA session 2. Make sure to use your test taking strategies, and I wish you the best of luck. Patriots, this week is Teacher Appreciation Week. Let's make it official by showing our appreciation for our sensational teachers. Only two days left to let them know you care. The Pines cheerleaders will be hosting Pines first ever student versus staff lip sync battle on Thursday, May 19th. If you would like to accept the challenge of taking on one of our staff members in this event to remember, please see Miss Stone in room 189 or ask your teacher to reach out. You must choose a school appropriate song and bring your own props. We look forward to seeing what the students of Primes can bring to the battle. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Patriots, get your lab coats ready because Science Day is almost here. Science activities will be happening in all classrooms on this exciting day. Fifth grade is this Friday, May 6th, and eighth grade is Monday, May 9th. Fifth graders can dress up in their best science gear to avoid paying one dollar dress down. Sounds electrifying. And finally, don't worry math nerds, we have a day just for you. Monday, May 9th is math day. Still confused? Grades 3-8 through eight will join us to solve that problem, pun intended. Now, let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Randy. Good morning, Pines Patriots. 
Looks like we should be experiencing a warming 91 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. It looks like there isn't going to be rain for the next few days, so look forward to going to the beach. In other weather news, Volcano Kilauea is back at it again. The volcano has been spewing out lava for more than two weeks. A lava lake more than 300 feet was formed in the crater. It first erupted in September and has been going on and off up till now, where the flows have been consistent and show no signs of stopping soon. Thankfully, this eruption isn't harmful to the people. The park where it's located says the best time to see it live is late at night or super early in the morning. Now let's go to Vani for Patriot on the Go. Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Patriot on the Go. I'm your host, Vani. Now let's hear Patriot's responses to our question, which is, what is your FSA test taking strategies? Now let's see those answers, Patriots. What is your FSA test taking strategies? Um, eat a good breakfast, have a good sleep. Um, when you're taking the test, do process of elimination, and that's it. Oh, that's really smart. I think you're definitely going to pass the FSA. Well, thank you. Now let's see your next Patriot. What is your FSA test taking strategies? Well, I gotta say, use your time wisely, get good sleep, and check over your work when you're done. That's really smart. At least, I think so. Well, now to your next Patriot. What is your FSA test taking strategies? To focus and get some of the answers right. To get your answers right. That's really smart. Well, is there anything else you would do to try and get those answers right? Like any eliminating the answers? That would be for the test. Yes, that's really smart. Now let's see your next Patriot. Hi, what's your name? Tyro. And grade? Eighth grade. Well, I have a question for you. What is your FSA test taking strategies? Well, for math, I use all my formulas to solve the problems. And for reading, I just annotate the passages. That's really smart. Well, thank you. Now let's see your next Patriot. What is your FSA test taking strategies? Um, have a good night's sleep and eat good breakfast in the morning. Nothing helps when you're testing like a good rest. Well, thank you. Now to your next Patriot. What is your FSA test taking strategies? Um, use all the formulas um, that Ms. Anna you taught me during this year. And for reading, read over the questions carefully. And, use, and go back to the passage and review your questions when you're done with the test. You're definitely going to pass the FSA. Thank you. Thank you, Patriots. Those responses were amazing. I think the best test taking strategy is probably going to be to take your time, read your answer choices, and go one by one and eliminate them. Well, that's it for Patreon on the go. See you guys next time. Thank you. That was great, Bonnie. Today's birthday boys and girls are Amina Aceus, Bradley Garnier, Yaros Garnier, Aiden Milholm Russell, and Amara Smathers. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Angelique. Thank you, Joshua. Here are your path expectations. Do I present? Present yourself positively. Act kind to others. Treat the schools and buy respectfully and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss Manning, Miss Santori, Miss Blanc, Miss Silver, Miss Stone, Miss Danqua, and Miss Onley. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, What is the world's biggest island? The correct answer is Greenland. Now, teachers and scholars, here is today's trivia question. What is the smallest ocean in the world? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. And don't forget, this year we're all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day.